welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we got a good one to look at. This is a 2007 Tiffin Allegro Bus 40 QDP. It's a quad slide diesel pusher, has a 400 Cummins ISL engine in there with a uh, Allison 3000 series transmission. Pretty cool coach. We got a generator up front, 7,500 of course. Now we do have a little bit higher miles on this RV. It is 103,000, but looking at this, you won't be able to tell. This is such a well taken care of coach. I'm so excited to show it. So first off, let's give it the good four corners look. Let me run down to this corner and we'll wrap around. As you can see, there is a couple window awnings. We do have one electric awning right here that comes out and a door awning. Under that electric awning, we do have another window awning and then one on the other side. Picture of the driver's side rear. It is a side radiator. Got an open entry back there. See that other slide topper, or um, I'm sorry, window awning, slide toppers, of course, and both, and both the other slides coming out. And then of course, here's the front driver's side. Good looking coach. Now, what we're gonna do next up, we're gonna look at all the compartments, show you all the storage you have in here, a couple of the slide out trays. So let's mosey on over to the other side. Alrighty, so all your compartments on the passenger side, you got a good amount of them. You have all side latch doors, very nice, even though they are under the slide, easy to access. Your first compartment here, kind of a storage area. You could put a TV in there with all those connections. You have a manual on and control right there too. Next up, slide out tray, number one. We'll go out both ways. And then number two, right there, also we will go out both ways. You can see your inverter right there. And then that, let's see if I can see the size of it. It's a 2000 watt. All right, this is, this coach does have a couple options. I did make a list of them, but one of them being hydronic heat. And that is what that is right there. So access for it to service it. Tires on this coach. Let me see if I can find a date code. They are all Michelins. I don't see a date code on this one, so we'll check another one. A couple of batteries in, a couple, four batteries in there. And then really a technician access point to get to the exhaust system and then whatever that board is. And some more wiring back here with a couple extra tiles. Now wrapping around the back, we do have a ladder to go up to the top. I'll show you that in a second. But here is your engine bay like i said it's not a rear radiator side radiator so you can actually get into the block as much as you could and access that which is nice let me jump up on the roof show you that all right on the roof here i got acs running that's what that noise is see the rear cap fiberglass roof looks really nice actually got a little bit of rippling going on just from the sun but looks really good two acs Multiple vent covers, you can see a wine guard satellite system up there and a skylight. Meet you back down. Alrighty, now on the driver's side here, you see this rear compartment is the radiator. So not really a compartment. 50 amp power service, of course. And you can see you do have a real uh, pull, retract. What am I trying to say? My gosh. All right. Date code on the tires, 4014, coming up on seven years old. They are Michelin, the size 275 ADR 22.5s. I do gotta replace some struts on this dump station. Won't stay up, but see we got a whole coach water filter, gray and black dump, water hose line, outdoor shower, water pump access, water line pump, Woo, all types of fun stuff in there. And as you can see, the other side of that Aqua Hot 450 DE model on it. And then finally, the other two sides of your pass-through storages. So you got a central vac system in the top right. That's where you access the bag. And then, of course, your other slide-out storage compartment. Next up, propane tank. I'm not sure on the size, but it's big. See fuel fill right above us. That is both sides. And then finally, more of a technician access point. Windshield wiper fluid, generator pull. Other than that, fuses and wiring. Coach does have side vision, of course, and a backup. And then your gen set, 7,500. Quiet diesel. We'll run off the same tank. 
and you do have a, or an area to put a bra up here if you want. All right, guys. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna give you a quick look with those awnings in too, so let me put them in. All right, there's a quick peek of, of the coach with the awnings in. Like I said, you got one main awning that goes over that slide. It does have a metal cover up there, if you can see, and then another door awning that also has a metal cover. One thing that's pretty interesting is all your manual window awnings also have metal covers when they roll up. So all that cloth will stay good and you know not get all brittle from the sun. Alrighty, making our way in, we do have two external steps that come out. Now you're probably wondering why they are so low. The air is not pumped up on this coach. It is sitting sitting as flat as it can get. And of course, screen door, a little slider to keep the bugs out. And then as we go in, we have another three steps, step cover right ahead of us. And right when you walk in, you have kind of all your buttons for awnings and battery and lights and steps and all types of fun stuff. All right, so here's your first look right when you walk in. I'm gonna give you a peek from the back too. Let me run to the back. Standing in the hallway right by the bathroom. Looking at the passenger side, kitchen slide. All right, let's start this. So we're gonna start up front in the cockpit. First thing to point out, I love Tiffin seats. They have all this extra cushioning on them and on the armrest, it's just so nice. Flex steel seats throughout. Power driver seat looks like an eight way. Passenger seat also eight way, but also a leg rest that comes out, which is nice. So they will be quite comfortable. And then this manual latch here is to turn it. This passenger seat does have pull out little desk there and some area to store some stuff right under. So they can be on their computer, tablet, watching something while whoever's driving is driving. Now over here, this was an option. Your hy uh, hydraulic leveling jacks instead of electric. Allison transmission, all types of fun stuff. Light shades, docking lights, horns, pedals. You can adjust the pedals in and out if you're a little bit shorter like me and got them stubby legs. Here we go, generator. 3566 in terms of the hours. I did call Cummins once to get an idea of how long they last, and they will last <laughs> 10,000 hours with standard maintenance, which is crazy. It's for your backup screen and side vision. This was an option to a Sirius radio, small option, dash AC controls, a couple cup holders, and then of course, a couple drawers too. 103,000 miles, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but we'll mention it again. Now, Right above here, area where you'd put, you got a switch box, you could put a satellite receiver, not the actual receiver, but the control box, DVD player, game consoles, whatever. And then flat screen was upgraded. Um, this I'm sure was some type of crazy tube TV shenanigans, but now they got something that weighs a lot less and is a heck of a lot clearer. And here is, I can't tell you, the first time trying to find these slide controls in here, it took forever. Line guard system, inverter control, hydronic key control, and of course your level monitors and your slide control. All right, now, first the thing we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the passenger side slide. This slide goes from this corner all the way down, right past the kitchen to right there. We have a three cushion couch. That is a jackknife sleeper. Lift up, pull out, sleep right on top of the cushions. Those armrests, I'm pretty sure, do yeah, they do remove and come out, so it is just a nice flat sleeping area. Three storage compartments above. Over in the kitchen, you have a very nice pull-out drawer here. Super, super long drawers. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to try something new in this video. And then lots of storage there. So let me do something crazy. Let me get everything opened up and then show you again. Be right back. It's going to look a little chaotic, but as we can see above the couch, three storage compartments all connected to one another. Moving over to the kitchen, you got that overhead storage with a drawer, that extra pull-out shelf, and like I said, look how crazy long these drawers are. First two are the same size, the bottom one is a little bit, a little bit deeper. And then that, as you can see, will just slowly push away and lock in the place. Right under, there was an option for a uh, dishwasher or an oven. They decided to just go with the stove top and have that massive storage down there. You could still put something if you wanted, but entirely up to you. To the right under the sink, a little bit of storage of course, sponge drawer, 
silverware area, a couple drawers there. Above that, a little nice area to put alcohol. <laughs> And of course, this microwave is a convection microwave without there being an oven, and it is a nice size. And finally, look at all this countertop space. Those are the covers for the stove top. It is a two burner. I think an option was a three burner, but you know, I don't know how many people actually use all three at once. I do really like the inlaid system, so it's just a nice flat surface. That was a little chaotic. Let me know what you thought about that. It seems to be a good way to check out all the cabinets. We're about to do the same thing on the other slide. So your driver's side slide goes from this corner all the way down to that corner right there. This was an option. This whole area really standard was a booth dinette. It does have the table and chairs and then the little desk area with the filing cabinet. So let me open things up and we'll show it. All right, not nearly as much storage. You do have a lot of overhead storage. And if you can see, I mean, all six of these compartments are all connected. One just big old long area. Your desk area does have a top drawer there and then an area for files. And of course, power hookups for a computer and internet. Under the dinette, you do have a little bit of storage there. That is the same on the other side. Under the dinette, you do have another small storage, but it's in being taken up by a subwoofer right now so i wouldn't really count on that one like i said all connected you do have a couple shades day and night shades throughout this coach i do have them down to kind of keep some of the heat out and then here is my printouts that i usually do i'm sorry if they're a little out of focus here my gosh buy a new thousand dollar phone can't even focus 109 995 is what we got this priced at spartan chassis 103,200 miles there's a rough look at the floor plan we are currently right there those both were the options king bed in the back it does have and then I, I don't know why this isn't focusing if you guys want a copy of the brochure um i can absolutely get it for you a couple of the options slide out trays hydraulic jacks uh, the that whole area right there with the computer set up um dinette serious radio subscription king bed hydronic heat and the stack washer and dryer were all options for this rv all right so that is the front two slides the, really the only other thing we have to look at is the fridge before we get to the bathroom now the fridge is a dometic rv fridge propane and electric And then up top, you do have your freezer, ice maker top right, and more freezer top left. And as you can see, it is gas or electric there. All right, so before we make our way to the back, you do have one small pantry. <laughs> I like pointing it out. I'm a big fan of the pantry there. I wish it was bigger, but can't get everything. As you can tell, it's incredibly hot. I'm hooked up to 30 amps, so I only got one AC running. That's why it's not cooling down, but that did do that in about 15 minutes. And then light controls. So making our way back, split bath, toilet left, shower right, fantastic fan right above us. We do also have a pocket door here that'll open up, give you some separation if you want a master suite. And then your commode it is a solid toilet. They got a lot of storage here. You still have the same solid surface countertops as you do in the kitchen, matches very well. Medicine cabinet, and a little bit more storage in there. Look at that, another fantastic fan. They got fans all over the dang place. Lots of toilet paper storage back there. And then three of these drawers. Nothing too crazy, but good for little essentials. The shower should be pretty decent for a diesel pusher. You have a little seat in there and it is tall i could probably jump and not even hit the ceiling i am only 5'9 though and then finally we have your bedroom lock that we do have another pocket door right here It'll give you some separation if you want just nobody coming into the bedroom but there is two additional slides in here all right there to the tv and then on the other side, your bed is on a slide from this corner all the way down to that corner. This is a king bed. That was one of the options. This thing is massive and it is so comfortable. The pillow top, oh, beautiful. Do you have a little area on the side? If you have a CPAP machine, plenty of room to put it and a power hookup with a couple drawers. Look at that. 
Same concept on the right side. Uh, power hookup side table, a couple side drawers. All of those are probably connected like they were out there. They are. So four more kind of deeper in that. Did you see how deep that was? At least two feet. And I can't remember. Let's see if I can lift the bed up with one hand. <sighs> how good it does that struts. All right. So it's hard to see because it's dark. Vacuum, uh, your vacuum hoses, two extra uh, seats for your dinette up front. All right, and then I want to give you a good look at this front slide. I feel like I'm moving all over the place here, but so you do have another vanity, which is pretty cool. Tiffin likes to do that. Some people like it, some don't. I think it's an ingenious idea. Same countertops throughout this whole area for the accenting. Good size sink, lots of storage. Pretty similar storage to what it was in the bathroom, even with those drawers, and honestly, even the medicine cabinet too. Moving on over, have a few drawers here. Gentlemen, this is where you store all your clothes. I don't know why they do it, but I love it. Clothes hamper, it's a good idea. Especially what you see what's next to that. And then the TV in here was also upgraded to, is that a 32 inch probably insignia? And then you can see they did have to kind of put this, this board here it looks like, probably fit a DVD player, something along those sort under there. Behind this magical door back here by the closet is going to be your optional full stack washer dryer. And then it looks like if you're interested in what Tiffin has to say here, check it out. Oh, once again, that, is, that damn quality is awful. Let me figure that out. Time to upgrade to a GoPro. And then finally, you have your full wall closet back here with sliding doors. Ugh, give it a good tug. Let's turn this light on. There we go. Cedar line closet. It is carpeted in the master and in the closet. That access area is to get to the engine. Same with this one right here. And then that access area is to get to the water lines of that washer and dryer. But a pretty decent, I mean, a lot of storage. If you include that, all the drawers, the underbed storage, it is insane. All right, guys, last but not least, do what I always do. Let me give you a look at this coach when all the slides are in. Be right back with you. All right, guys, looking at the bedroom right now, your slides are completely in. As you can see, you do lose your walkway right there. You can still get to that closet, watch TV, take a nap, but you're not getting under the bed. You're not really going to access any of those drawers under the sink or the washer and dryer, but still very much so usable for the rest of the coach. Bathroom, fully accessible, can open this door. There's no slides in this general area. The other two slides are right here, from here, and then right past the fridge right here, all the way down. Once again, a complete walkway. The noise you're hearing is a low air notification because I just started the engine. So that's what is going on. It's slowly lifting up the air outside. But let's take a quick peek. Oh, look at that. You can see it's already working pretty well take a peek of how this coach looks with the slides in while you're in travel mode once again i love the color scheme it's not too dark like this expedition right next to it i think that's a little too dark but it looks still looks modern doesn't look old on the inside even though it is 14 model years old already Alrighty, guys, that was the walkthrough. Once again, let's reiterate here, 2007 Tiffin Allegro bus, 40 QDP, 400 Cummins in it, Allison transmission, four slides, 103,000 miles, 3,600 hours on the gen, but a dang good looking coach, very well taken care of. I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Hopefully it answered a couple questions. If you did have any on here, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me. All the info will be in the description down below, including my email and phone number. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for viewing.